Jesus engages Peter in a discussion about who should pay the temple tax, questioning whether it should be the children or the foreigners. Peter responds that the foreigners are the ones obligated to pay. During Jesus' time, Jewish men over 19 were required to contribute annually to the temple's maintenance. Jesus' statement that the children are exempt emphasizes Peter's identity as a child of God. Jesus does not reject the obligation to support the temple but highlights that our relationship with God's house should transcend mere duty. As God's children, our connection with His house is intrinsic and heartfelt. We care for it not out of obligation, but because it is our home too. This concept extends to all of creation, which Pope Francis emphasizes in his encyclical Laudato Si. Our duty to care for our common home, the earth, stems from our identity as God's children. We express our true nature by nurturing and preserving God's creation, viewing it as an extension of our spiritual home. Heavenly Father, we come before you with gratitude for the privilege of being your children. Help us to understand and embrace our identity, not merely as followers, but as cherished members of your divine family. Guide us to see beyond our obligations and to care for your house with love and devotion. Instill in us a deep reverence for all creation, recognizing it as our shared home. Teach us to live out our duties with joy, seeing every act of care as an expression of our relationship with you. May we honor you by preserving the beauty and integrity of the world around us, reflecting your love in our actions. Empower us to be stewards of your creation, mindful of our impact and committed to protecting it for future generations. Lord, deepen our understanding of what it means to be your children. Let our lives be a testament to your grace as we nurture and safeguard your creation, fulfilling our role with heartfelt dedication. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.